I'm David Schultz from Stop the Goaltending. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about box control. All right, so the idea behind box control here is the puck has to pass through a series of boxes that are elevating to get past the goaltender here. All right, as long as we have our hands out in front and our shoulders over the puck, we should be able to cover this whole box, having our hands inside the box and getting the net covered. If he was to have his hands back, you can see that the puck can get outside of him and maybe over his or his gloves down and maybe get up over his gloves and past his shoulder in the top part of the nets here. Here's a little better view of the box. You can see this is the trajectory of the puck going towards the net. And right here, he's in pretty good shape. He's got his hands in the box, and that's what we call jamming the box here. If he was to have his hands down and back a little bit, you can see the puck has room to get outside the blocker or the glove and get over it and into the net. All right, this here is an example of a rebound here. He's made the save, the puck squirts out. What he's going now is a glove extension to really jam that box up. He's got the ice covered with his pad. He's tracking down to the puck and he's getting his glove as close to that puck as possible to, stu to stuff the shot. It's another example to the blocker side. Same exact thing, he's got the blocker extension here. He's trying to jam that box up, get as close as he can to the puck. His eyes are getting close to the blocker, his shoulders over the puck, and his pad is taking away the ice here to jam that box up. This has been David Schultz on Box Control. Check us out at stopatgoaltending.com for more information. Bam, we crushed that!